every once in a while, we'll tweet out, hey, uh, brewery or whoever you may be, send us some beer. And then they are brave enough to do it. This week, in exchange for the considerable public uh, cachet that we offer oh, yeah. by lending our uh, name to the item. Brooklyn Brewery. From, uh, oh, it should be up here. Like oh, yeah, Danny's well, yeah, put yeah, yeah. it. They uh, actually sent us a couple of beers. So we are going to be drinking the uh, Sriracha Ace tonight, as well as... We're having, I'll be having the uh, limited release Brooklyn brand Bel Air Sour. Mm. It is 12 fluid ounces. So this is pretty much an entire Brooklyn Brewery episode. In honor of them being so kind to send us these brews, we will be playing tonight games based in New York City. There you go. And Buzz has a part to play. Uh, first, I'll tell you that I sampled those drinks at an earlier time, and I will give you my review in a bit. But I'll also be reviewing another drink that's entirely different. It's called Mundet by Sidrel. And it's a drink that doesn't necessarily have a description at this time. Hmm. All right, very Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. All right, well, why don't we get right into the action? All right, first game. Girly action. That's going to be that's my, that's Ghostbusters, classic New York City setting, for the Sega Genesis. Now, that's the film about the four young ladies who... I'm going to murder you. <clears throat> never, never, never say those words. I like the I like the pretty, that was pretty right? funny. Look at these look at these images of these guys. They look this looks like a horror film. It right? does look a bit like a horror film. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. either couldn't get the rights to um, uh, Ernie Hudson yeah. or did not ask. Yeah, just there's only three Ghostbusters in this game. Ernie Hudson, we love you. We're sorry. All right, here we go. Press start. Same 1984. Wait, is it? Uh, is that his name? Yes, it is. Start. Ernie Hudson. Yeah, All what's right. up with this? You only get to play <laughs> only the Ghostbusters three. people like. That's right. Wait, Peter. Looks they like didn't have enough color palettes. What's you know? wrong with? They didn't have the rights for any of these people. This looks like Jeff Goldblum. This I don't even this know. It's a little bit like this Rick Ocasek. Looks like his face is melting. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with <laughs> Bill Murray. Actually, I'll say this: Ernie Hudson, be glad that you right. weren't in the game. Well, maybe he was in the game, but Ernie Hudson said no. Yeah, <laughs> the little guy no, looks more like uh, Bill Murray than the actual. This looks like the, on the face, fucking Three Stooges. Recently, there's been a lot of ghostly activity happening here and there. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to work. Help, Ghostbusters! Oh, come on, let's get all this crap. Home sweet home. I just want to start killing ghosts. Tables move by themselves, the shelves fly around in the house, blah blah blah. It's like the Bill Murray, he's like, Middle has place. a skullet. Alright, here we go. Well, the one character looked like Sheriff Lobo. <laughs> Sheriff Lobo. <laughs> this uh, does kind of vaguely resemble Bill Murray. It's got the uh, the whole receding hair. Was that a jellyfish? Ah! Yeah. Uh, it's amoeba. God damn it. Well, it's not a ghost. It's like either a jellyfish or an amoeba, just like you said. So this is clearly a platformer, and I, uh, floating stairs, floating amoebas, oh, this dude, wait a minute, I remember, gotta jump on this guy, oh yeah, there you go, so wait a minute, that only leaves one place to go, over here, good job. Watch out, there's a goldfish balloon and an amoeba. <laughs> a goldfish balloon? Uh -huh. <laughs> so is this a sequel to the movie? I think so. It's a sequel to the second movie. Yeah, this is Ghostbusters 3 Goldfish Balloon. Is That's this canon? Yeah, subtitle. This is, this is, no, I don't know if this one Take is, a but track. you know the the game they made a couple of years ago was canon. Mm. And they got everyone to be the in it. The one where they actually got the uh, actors involved and all that? Uh -huh. Oh, there, oh, Brad? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god! Um, What's happening? Oh, I'm throwing my grenades off. <laughs> I don't know why I had grenades. Oh, there's Slimer. So now you, you finally got someone Slimer. who's actually... And you killed him. I finally get to do what I always wanted to do as a child. Kill oh, Slimer. Oh, Brent! Oh, oh wait. Glenn, can you get back up there? Oh, uh, maybe I guess that's where you're supposed to go. I thought you actually fell through the hole, like, back to the beginning. You know those houses that have 50-foot high ceilings? And just platforms stuck in the wall for no fucking reason. And spikes. And spikes. Don't forget the spikes when you're when you're wandering around your house. Nothing is better than just a giant spiked floor, right? <laughs> I'm going somewhere specific, right? It looked like there was a door over to the right, but down by the spikes, though. Oh, down there. I couldn't tell. There was something over there. Yeah, there's oh, a yeah, there door over there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> my God! Did you become a ghost? I, it looked like a mummy. Yeah, look, like like you become. Up. Oh, no, it's slime, though. I think I meant it's slime. I thought it was just a wall. Encounter? No! Let him finish. It has no end. I think it's slime, but I really do think that's what it was. Oh, God. None of, none of this actually happened at Ghostbusters. Is that a penguin? 
<laughs> no, it's a headless man who is a killer <laughs> teddy bear. A killer teddy bear in his hat? <laughs> this is more interesting than anything we were doing before this. What's up next, Brian? We have our second New York City based game. It's going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Time. Are they in Super time? Nintendo. In New York? They are in the beginning. They are in New York. And as you progress in the game, they travel all the way back to prehistoric New York. Oh, alright. Well, you're going to be playing this one with Buzz. That's alright. We're going to get That's it. That's alright. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get it selected here. We're going to pretend that, that Buzz is actually. That might be know, the most insulting thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's, you're just generally dismissive of Buzz sometimes. So, you know, he's just there. Buzz, would you like to uh, do a two-player game? Yes. Buzz isn't really talking to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, all right. All right, here we go. I'm going to be uh, Raphael. I'll be this first green of you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be Leonardo. <laughs> April, oh, they're stealing the Statue of Liberty. Great. Come on now. Alright, let's skip all this crap. Ready? Big Apple. Big Apple. That looks like Baxter Great. Stockman. Is that who it is? So basically, dude, all you do in this game is just run along and beat the crap out of everything. And April will show up occasionally and tell you to get moving because you're too damn slow. <laughs> but now, I remember this game. On Nintendo, it's called Turtles 4. But in the arcade, it was actually Ninja Turtles 2. Because there was the first one, and then, which was uh, like just a regular side scroller without time travel, and then they made this one. I'm not really sure why this is Turtles 4. I think the original Nintendo game was the original Turtles, and then. I think it's possible. And then the tur first Turtles was Turtles 2, then Turtles Tournament Fighters was part 3. And this is part 4? Brian, no one knows who you're talking about. Uh, you're just rambling like a madman. Uh, I'm sorry. Dear so, nurse, we please to, address Brian's comments. We need, <laughs> we need to be talking more about uh, Brooklyn Brewery here. Well, so. Brooklyn Brewery is a brewery that's based in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is in New York, and New York <laughs> is where this Turtles game is taking place. Now, New York is notable oh, for its structures where things explode, Yes. its ninja versus turtle warfare, and its giant skyscrapers. This is true. Also, there's danger. Now, I went to New York. Uh, I had a friend who brought me to Shoegasm many times. <laughs> Shoegasm. Yeah, I, I only remember going to New York uh, maybe twice. Yeah, I've been twice. I went on a school trip once and I went uh, with some friends yeah. a few years ago to see a television play in Central Park. And, uh. Oh, sweet. There's Crane. He's I didn't, I didn't poop the whole weekend I was there. Oh my god. I know. I, and I, then I, it all came out when I was waiting. We were heading back. Knowing you as I do, and the fact that you shit like 17 times a day, that must mean that there was something very wrong with you. Well, it was wrong as we had like a 17 hour car ride, and that just fucks with me, man. <laughs> I was all blocked up. And all weekend I'm eating stuff like, we gotta get this shook loose. And I was like, bagels, you know, whatever they had, fiber, whatever you got. I was trying to get that stuff going. And I was like, I know what's gonna happen. She was in the car on the way home, I went to shit. And sure enough, we just got out of the city, and then, and then and it was just, it was just all the way home. I don't want to hear it. Way to stop every 45 minutes at a rest stop so I can shit my brains off. gone from these delicious beers to you shitting your oh, pants Jesus. in the car. It's I'm going to play this one. Do I get to play tasty. this one? Home here, you want to start it? What do you do? Just, uh, well, I don't know, you know. We've played Home Here's Alone the... on this on this uh, show in the past. And if I remember, it had like vaguely uh, strange <laughs> sexual undertones to it. This... Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, I have no idea, I've never played it. Was that part of our Christmas thing? Yeah, we did a Home Alone for Christmas episode. Oh my god. Is that is Tim that... Curry? <laughs> I think so. It is. <laughs> this is the concierge of the Plaza Hotel, Brent. That's a fair to middling <laughs> bad Tim Curry impersonation. Oh, I'm sorry. As bad Tim Curry impersonations go, that's right in the middle, I think. <laughs> Glenn, let's hear yours. Uh, Wesley. <laughs> that's Mr. <laughs> Belvedere. <laughs> We all float down here, Georgie. Well, that's a little, yeah, that is Tim Curry character. I'm going to skip go. all this crap. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Now, see, at least this looks like the what? actors, unlike the Ghostbusters. Yeah, but thing. they look like hellish abominations. <laughs> all right, you're in the Plaza Hotel, bro. Most abominations. 12.30 p.m. And, and you're already, oh, my ah! God. <laughs> oh, yeah. So don't let that happen. You're just immediately ah! strangled uh. to death by the concierge. 
So I have motivation here. Don't Will hit escape. Right. Wait, you gotta jump. Close the video. Are please. you? Will. Was that a pizza? A piece of pizza and yeah. a. And a... Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare. All right, look, give me one more time. Give me one more shot at it. Jesus. Strangled to death twice and then mangled in a vacuum cleaner. I am. I am. Wait, are you supposed to. Yeah, jump yeah, over the. There's the luggage. pizza. Okay, I need that. So, need what, every cookies. time you get hit, you lose coins? Is that what I'm saying? Oh, no, wait. I think like they're cookies. It's your little power meter or something. The thing just came out of that picture so back there. You just have to jump over everything, apparently. Picking up pizza and. Is that a pearl necklace, Brent? I think it is. Knowing this game, <laughs> it is. Oh. oh my god, what's this lady gonna How's she gonna murder she a child? <laughs> Fuck oh. me! <laughs> so the suitcases are moving by themselves. The guy. Oh wait, what, what's he doing? He tried to hit you. I don't have time to see what anyone's doing. <laughs> I'm dead. Here, oh, you do it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I almost got attacked by the vacuum cleaner. So wait, wait, you gotta wait for her to jump, and then go under. Alright. Go over, oh, wait. Well, you're much better at this than I What does this guy do? I just want to see what this guy does. Yep, he totally, he throws a bomb at you. Everyone in this hotel is literally trying, trying to kill to you. Kill this Can child. you imagine the Yelp reviews for this place? It would be fucking awful. Wait a minute, can I go? Yeah, you can go on the doors. Ah! <laughs> that, <laughs> okay, that I'm 90% sure deer. that was a flasher. Take a look at this dude. I, I'm leaving. Wait. Let no. him do what he's gonna do. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, let's see what he does. Oh! 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 So both games now involve pedophilia. Uh, yeah. Oh, game over. There's That's, your screen uh, cap for the uh, game right wow. there. <laughs> <laughs> don't need, don't need to game over. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Our first game of the evening was Ghostbusters, That's featuring right. shrunken, ghoulish uh, approximations of people. Uh, in an annoying platformer. I didn't actually play it, I just watched it. It looked like a two and a half star game to me. I would really not probably give that game more than two stars. You don't even have your trap, you're just kind of running around just shooting your and ghost Where's Ernie Hudson at? And yeah, no Ernie Hudson. Well, the Japanese version has Ernie Hudson. I don't believe that's oh. true. I think you made that shit up. Uh, you, know, okay. you know, you've never said, Glenn, that sounds right. Huh. You haven't said anything that's right. So based... Just all of my anger at you. Right. Get zero stars. Oh, Ooh, well, take damn. it out of the Ghostbusters. That's fine. All right. All right, second game of the evening, Turtles in Time, or Turtles 4 Turtles in Time. On the Super Nintendo. Now, I didn't play it here, but I've played that game a blue million times. It's a classic. Uh, it's a four-star game. Easily. And it, looked, it looked like the port was good, too. It looked yeah. Like a, a it's port. a really good port of the arcade game. And it even, uh, if we were to play all the way through it, it even has extra boards that aren't in the arcade game. So it takes almost a full hour to play all the way through that game. Right. It's a lot of fun, and it's definitely a four-star game. Well, I didn't get to play that game. But you did? <laughs> you were playing with me! <laughs> it was great playing that game. It's just awful. I hit the buttons, I moved... Um, it gets two stars. Two stars. Which turtle were you? I was Cap Captain <laughs> Captain Crunch. Captain is that his name? Captain Crunch. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, and our final game of the evening: <laughs> Home Alone Two. Hell comes to New York. What was it called? <laughs> Blood Lost to New York. <laughs> that game was terrifying. If you want to talk about a scary game, yeah. not Ghostbusters. Let's talk about Home Alone Two, in which Tim Curry throttles a child, or there's a weird uh, flasher who dangles your head in front of his cock. It, that was that was a weird ass game. I'm uh, just for the nightmares alone. It has to be a three and a half star game. I would easily call that a three star game. Any game where you're like playing as a child who gets his head stuck in a vacuum cleaner <laughs> is worth playing. That was more than once. I think ghoulish. Yeah, that, that was. Ooh. And your only defense is to jump <coughs> away. Yeah, yeah. You jump. Can just get jump a bat over or everything. Yeah. yeah, it's it wasn't for me. No stars. It wasn't for me. Okay, oh, On to the beers. Now, I'm going to not lie to you. I've never had a sour beer before, so when I was given this, I thought, I'm going to not like this. I really enjoyed it. The first uh, sip, it kind of took my breath away there for me. I was like, what the hell am I drinking? But I finished it. I really liked it. Let me break it down for you. I, lo I love the color palette of the label. This nice blue and pink with the gold accents. I think it's beautifully designed, and I really enjoyed it. It was t a little tart, refreshing. Sour, but not bitter. I really enjoyed it. I would I would definitely drink another. And that's not just blowing smoke up your ass. Thank you, Brooklyn. Brooklyn brr, brr, brr. <laughs> well, uh, I was very glad that you were willing to try the sour because I absolutely do not like sours at all. But I do 
really, really like the Brooklyn Sriracha Ace, which, full disclosure, I have had before. Uh, the beer is named after the hop. Sriracha Ace, which typically has a little bit of uh, citrus and like a little. Well, hint. I believe Sriracha is made out of it's like a fermented <laughs> garlic and chili uh, paste. It's not, but that's that's what everyone at work when I would drink okay. this beer before, I would tell people to try this, and they'd be like, "Well, what a spicy beer! It's not Sriracha, it's Sriracha Ace. Mm, it's think, a type of hop." Think what shut, I said. Shut right. your filthy mouth, sir. You said, you said it's a very good beer. Thank you, Brooklyn, for sending it to us. Easily uh, four star beer on this for sure. And, uh, I didn't give stars, but I would also give this a four. I would definitely drink it again. I really enjoyed it. I well, I have something else. Already drunk. <laughs> this doesn't get four stars. Well, I haven't drank, I haven't had it yet. But again, it's Sidrels Mundet. Okay, neither of those are words. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sidrels Mundet. But what is it supposed to be? I don't know. Is it a Does it say soda? anything else? Well, you know, you're filled with questions. Can I send them to Buzz questions? <laughs> <Would> you answer. <laughs> His first email ever. What is Central Monday? <laughs> it's kind of cold when you pour it on your hand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What people say. I don't know. That's your review. <laughs> it's a naturally flavored apple soda. You can just tell us it's an apple soda instead of dicking around. Well, this is Buzz's moment. <laughs> Drink your. I drank it. <laughs> it's good. Anyway, this gets whatever. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> All right, folks, that's it for this episode. Thank you. God bless you to Brooklyn Brewery. Please, here's all their stuff. Danny puts it all here. Uh, please uh, email us at bitsandbrews at gmail.com. Please follow us on Twitter at bitsandbrews. Uh, send buzz questions to buzzquestions at hotmail.com. You might ask yes. things such as, what is Sundral Monday? <laughs> And um, Sidral. Sidral. Check out our YouTube channel, Two Men One Couch. Check yeah. out our other program, uh, Movie Fight. And mourn the loss of uh, of one and one with Glenn Brits. All right, folks, that's all we have to say. Caviar your dreams to your wishes, and good night. I can't do it. Here's another one. at the corner of Eighth and Abraham Lincoln. There's a dude with the tuba playing rude when I've been thinking. <laughs> I played that for some people at work the other day. <laughs> Why would you do that? Or wouldn't you? Because they were like, you don't know hip-hop. And, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, and here's the proof. <laughs> <laughs>